hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a book reorganization video maybe declutter we'll see although i'm not probably not going to get rid of books maybe i'll just move them to a different room in the house we'll see how it goes anyway so um yeah i'm don't have my usual setup because we're just reorganizing here i'm just gonna show you what I'm working with, some music on, do the actual reorganizing, and then show you kind of a few steps along the way. And uh, yeah, I was gonna film this video like a week ago, but I mean last weekend, but then Cameron Cheney posted his library organization video and I felt really self-conscious cause like his library is really cool dude and I'm just here like, I have three shelves or something and a few books, but anyway. Um, so let me just show you what I'm working with and then I'll explain. Okay, so here's the piles of books in question. Yes, I have the Rammstein one standing because when you have a pile of books sitting in your room for weeks, you gotta decorate, you know? Okay, let's get to organizing. So first I have here, which I previously had books here, obviously I cleared it off and cleaned it, and that's next to my makeup where I do my stuff every day. Um, so prior to this situation there was the books I hadn't read yet, and these were the most old, like oldest purchased books. And then here, which is the backdrop of where I usually film, is also books I haven't read yet but these are more recently purchased the reason I did that is because I wanted to get the ones out of the way that I hadn't like that I had bought a long time ago so I could read them and get them out of the way so I just read from over there but I don't want I'll switch it up a little bit these are my finals this is my I don't even have a record player that's stupid it's my trusty dusty Rammstein cup and they have other guitar books that I moved out of the way. I might move these elsewhere. And these are also, these aren't really book books. These are like, I have cooking books and, oops, that did not go well. Cooking, cooking. Oh, this is my Oscar. This guy made a photo book for, before and got it for Christmas. Um, Cooking, cooking, cooking. Damn, I got a lot of cooking. This from an art show. And then here's the third spot, my two speakers, which I'll be using while I'm organizing, which you won't hear because, oh, this is my plant. Hello, I brought this down. Um, I brought this up. It was in the basement. It's in my room because I want to learn more piano, like I said in another video. And here are my guitars. Oh my gosh, this is my first guitar ever. I got it when I was 16. And this I got a few years back in Portland. I had an Ibanez, white Ibanez. It was great, but not my sound. This is a Les Paul, much more me. Love her to death. She's tuned regular. She's tuned half step down and I have to get her strings changed. Anyway, and here's Alice Cooper. Hi. Alrighty, tidy whities here's what we got. By the way, sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. Okay. So here are all my books. That's my foot. Hello. By genre. Sort of. I wanted to like pile them up just to see how much of each I have, sort of. So here, okay. Here is all my like um historical fiction type like non-genre specific just like story type book i think i'm gonna declutter these a little bit because i kind of want to get away from this genre in general more towards horror but yeah anyway this is like philosophy type books i think we're good um this is crime like detective uh spy type thing like we have Sherlock Holmes, we had Fred Vargas type things. Um, yeah. This is horror. Love it. Um, yeah. Don't think I'm gonna declutter any of those. Here are my poetry books. Hello. Okay. I know there's a lot of poetry lovers. Ooh, my bad. No. <gasps> Sorry, you had to see that. Okay. Yes, Silent Nights by Till and Min. Love it. Um, we have Paris Spleen by Charles Baudelaire, which I absolutely recommend. Contemplations by Victor Hugo. This is amazing. 
Um, this is a poetry collection. There's some prose, some like, no, is this a poetry thing anyway? Hold on a sec. Hmm. I don't know. Um, Lee Po, whatever. Lee Po, this is all right. I can't, this is one of those you can't decide if you like it or not. And then I have these two by Emily Dickinson. This is actually my copy from school, so it's like super annotated, but not like when you annotate for fun when you're reading it. Like this is school notes annotations. Anyway, um, then this, oops, what am I doing? Okay, whoa, my bad. Memoirs, um, I think, I'm not really sure which category this falls into because this is like, um, Celeste was, if I remember correctly, she was Marcel Proust's mistress, I think. And this is like her story, if you will, in graphic novel format. My brother got it for my, um, for Christmas. Anyway, so I'm putting it in memoir, but it's more like somewhat autobiography, biography, not autobiography, whatever. Anyway, you get the point. Slash, you know and love him. Def McKagan, we know and love him. Fun story, this book took me two years to read. Um, I also started reading this like a few years before the Def McKagan one, and I still haven't finished this one. It's, it's a funny story. The problem when you're reading a memoir, it's not, okay, I know I'm a slow reader, but this is bad. When you're reading a memoir by someone in your favorite band, when they're talking about stuff like, oh, um, and then that such and such inspired this or that song, and then, then you're just like, oh, I gotta go see that song, or like, I gotta go learn that song, check it on the guitar, whatever. And like two hours later, you read two sentences that you forgot and you have to start all over again. That's why. Plus, sorry, but like, pictures really you want people to finish your book in a timely manner and you put pictures in it i'm sorry that's not gonna work out but anyway so i did manage to finish this one duff mckagan's actually a really good writer it's really good i don't know if he had a ghostwriter or anything or whatever but that was good i think slash well this says um with anthony um Raza. um yeah no baza Raza, what? Anyway. Yeah, I, I got to the part where they all got cooties from the same girl and then I probably laughed so hard I almost broke it. Anyway, memoirs. I think I'm gonna declutter some of these. I'm not sure, definitely not these. Um, here is like um, books to learn stuff, like nonfiction. I don't really know what this is about. My aunt sent it to me, but I know it's about music and that's all you need to know. This is a pretty good book if you want to learn about like super basic finance and then like, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, that type of stuff. Nonfiction. Here I have anthologies. So, okay. Should I put this in anthologies or like what's the deal? This is like five short, five stories by Dostoevsky. And I'm not sure if I should put this in anthology or what else. Let me know. Thank you very much. Um, let's see what else. Here's my Kindle. This is a one pile, a one book pile. I started reading Poking Holes by Juan Valencia or Plagued by Visions like in October. And then it ran out of battery. Luckily, so it did run out of battery while I was between two stories so that that's why I haven't been in a rush, but it's still out of battery. And we are in March, so. Oopsie poopsie. Macaroni. Here I have all my cookbooks. Um, yes. These are all cookbooks. Um, and here I have like my art book type things. Here is soulèvement, which means like upliftings or like lift, like not uplifting like the mood, but like lifting or like something being lifted upwards. It's from an um, an expo I went to see, I don't know how long ago. Here we have the Gibson book because we love Gibsons here. And then we have Eddie Van Halen because the um, here is like a book of cinema and has like the evolution of like 
different movies explained and such. It's pretty good. Um, it's actually really good. But I don't know if they have it in English. And then this is like a short booklet from another art show I went to. And then over there um, is other like, that's my uh, Oscars photo book. That's my other, my old reading journal. I'm gonna make a new video about my reading journal. And then that is the book I'm reading right now that got me in a reading slump and I put down a few weeks ago and yeah. And then over there I have a few books. I think I'm gonna declutter. Um, yes. All right, update. Here's where we're at. Here are my nonfiction books that I will be keeping. I obviously decluttered a few. Here, I did not touch these two piles, are my horror and detective crime thingies. Here I have my poetry books, my like memoir slash biography thingies. Over there are the books I'm decluttering. Um, not necessarily getting rid of them, just at least putting them elsewhere. Um, either back on the people's shelves they borrowed it from, or I don't know, we'll see. Just not here. And then here is my cleaned up makeup situation. Um, here, okay, what do I do here? Uh, I have my anthologies, like the, yeah, anthologies and books that are kind of like supportive, educative. Sorry, my cat is trying to bust in the room. He can actually open the door now, it's pretty crazy. Okay. Not my cat, my mom's cat. I call him my cat, but I refuse to claim ownership. These are like books that are not nonfiction, but not whatever. Oops. Okay, and then here is my like memoir or like smart people stuff, I guess. I want to put him here because I look at this thing every day because this is where I do my makeup and my mirror is right next to it and I want to like these are books I've had for a while that I kind of want to remember to read if you know what I mean and then on the other shelves I'll put the books that I'm maybe more inclined to want to read because I feel like that way I will actually read more of what I have all right guys here's the final update of my bookshelves Forgive me for I have gone. Okay, here we have the makeup station, the beautification station, if you will. Um, so here, as mentioned earlier, I have my Get Smart People books. Um, I have my anthologies, and then here I have my um, like nonfiction and a fabulous pot, amazing that I got after the Grand Canyon that. TSA majestically signed and autographed. Thank you. Over here are all the books I'm decluttering or like putting back not on my shelf. And then here, which is the backdrop of my videos, we have, so here I put all my records and a mug and like all my cooking books and stuff. Here I have all horror continued here, the Ramstein Cub obviously we know and love um three these are like crime detective <laughs> but there was room for three more books here so yes oscar gotta love him and then here we have the obelix mug um this is just like something to make your room smell good and then all my art people like art books and stuff with the van halen and i have some other books i think elsewhere in the house but i'll just add them here when i and finally here, under the supervision of Mr. Alice Cooper, thank you very much, we have probably my favorite section. So here is my, the rest of the crime and detective stuff. Hold on. Okay, fabulous. Gorgeous. Crime, here are my CDs that I probably should arrange better, some DVDs. And here I have my poetry and then um, like philosophy, I think, or like intellectually inclined-ish, if you will. And then here I have my memoirs, autobiography, biography, memoir situations. And then here I put all my guitar stuff, the piano books. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Love it. Love the plant. I... <laughs> I hope that um, these are anchored to the wall. <laughs>
that's all I got to say. All right, well, that's been my video. Sorry it was all over the place, but as you know, I'm still without computer because of said cat, which was bitching earlier. That's okay. Um, yeah, I hope you like this. Um, let me know what you think I should do with the, well, I already put the Dostoevsky book in a section, so we'll just leave it there. Um, so I followed, I don't know how this is going to go. I did a poll a few weeks ago on how I was going to reorganize my books and most of y'all said by genre, so that's what I tried to do. I don't know how I feel about the fact that my books in English and French are mixed and I don't know how I feel about the fact that my TBR books and the books I already read are also mixed. Not that I have anything against it necessarily, but I had it some other way for years, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway. That's been that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!